Welcome to Cardboard Circuits and today we're going to be building our own cable called a clothespin clip. So we're going to create a cable that's very easy to use because it's using uh, clips instead of uh, crook clips. Uh, we'll need some cable. I have a small screwdriver and a nail to kind of get the copper foil tape uh, nice on the surface of these clothespins and then some, some tools to work on the wire. Um, so let's start. Uh, first thing you need to do is to get some wire out. So typically these cables have a casing and there's like at least five cables in there. So I'm gonna go and and get a good a good distance here and I'm gonna start stripping it out so that I can remove the cables that are inside. All right, and this might take a little while but certainly you can find a lot of cables when you start opening game controllers uh, and so forth. And then sometimes it's too long, so we're gonna also open up the other side until the cables inside the casing start to have more wiggle room to move out. So just be patient, keep working your way out of the casing. work our way out. The nice thing is in this case I'm gonna get four or five cables that I can use so I can build easily five cables out of this. Nope. Let's try this side. Eventually it'll start moving. going. I haven't found an easier way to do this so if you know a better way please uh, please drop a comment on the github. There probably may be some tools I don't know about. Alright, let's see. That was a long one. And I'm doing a long key because then I can cut out to the size I want but I want to start from a long Long cable. So I'm going to use quite a bit of wire on each end to attach it to the clothespins. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. And it's moving. There we go. So we got our nice cable. And now we're going to strip, we're going to be working on this end. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to cover both ends with cover foil. Just grab a bit of cover foil and then go all around with cover foil. Uh, and then for the, so make sure you go all around, press hard to get it hold tight and that's why I have my little nail here. I'm going to cram it in there. That's where the metal pin is going to go and then keep going all around. That's where the connection is going to happen again. Make sure you get a nice connection here. Keep going there and that's one. It actually looks pretty cool like that. So we'll be able to clamp on any other from any position because we have the foil tape that's going all around and I'm going to do that on the second one Sure you don't break the foil but you get it in there because it's going to be squished by the metal hinge it's very important that it's nice and tucked to the wood there we 
go. Keep doing the process for four parts of the pin. So I got this side ready. Now this guy, I'm going to attach the wire to. So I'm going to strip out quite a bit of uh, casing from the wire. Just be generous there. Happen here. It takes it a little bit less. Okay, so that didn't go well. Let's restart. May want to do that in stages. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm going to roll the cable <clears throat> on the hinge. So I'm first going to prepare it and I'm just going to roll around it. I'm going to go through the center and around, pulling hard, making sure it gets stuck in between the, in the center there's some room. There we go. And keep doing that. A few rolls so this will secure the cable and also this will make sure we have a nice connection between the wire and the hinge and eventually the hinge will touch the paper foil and will create the connection so I'm going around and around I'm going to place it on one half you have to put it back Make sure to not damage the foil. I'm gonna add a, a drop of glue here. So you also add some to make sure the cable doesn't get ripped off accidentally. So adding a bit of glue. And I'm gonna add the second half. Let's wait for the glue to settle. All right, so we have our first connector. And while this is drying, let's go and do the second one. So again, I'm gonna put some paper foil. That should probably be enough. Try that. Try this. Nail it in, go around. Ooh, that's gonna be barely enough. And you really wanna use a single piece of foil so you get a great connection all around. There you go. So that's good enough because hinge is gonna to touch here and then it's gonna connect here. I've got one here. And we're gonna do the second one. And the benefit again is that these cloth pins are much easier to handle. They're a bit more bulky, but certainly to get started, uh, much easier to open up and clamp on the terminal. Otherwise the crocodile clips are somehow hard for, uh, for children or anybody with uh, a disability. All right, got that going. I'm gonna do the other end of the cable. Same exercise, stripping. Okay, that was much easier. I'm gonna roll it around the hinge. Roll around the hinge. There we go. Let's 
as much as you can. Okay. Then we're going to position on the first one. Roll in. Add a drop of hot glue. Secure the cable. Sure, it's aligned and let's wait a bit until the glue dries. All right, and then we can mount the second half. Yeah, this part is a bit tricky and that's exactly what I didn't want to do, which is ripping out the copper tape, but I got the other half that's intact, so that's okay. Um, I'll add a drop of glue just to make sure that doesn't degrade. And maybe I'll add a drop of glue here. Why not? Okay, so we have now a cable. Time to test them. I'm going to bring in battery plug and well, some kind of a motor here. Alright, so can plug in here, plug in there. I only have one of those. I'm going to use a crock clip on the other side. You can see how it's a bit more tricky. It writes. And if everything good and well, it's gonna work. And nothing happens. Ah! So a little bit debugging, figure out that the USB cable wasn't plugged in here. Oof! It does work! I lost the cable. A very easy connection. And I can also clamp on the sides here. So I can daisy chain them. Uh, and that's a clothespin connector, which you can easily build yourself and will make it easier to do circuits.